Governor Najma Hatula appeals to all not to disturb education in Manipur. MLA Dr. Ibo Halbi says government will drive out all NSC and IM camps from Manipur. BJP Manipur condemns burning of Prime Minister's effigy by Congress workers. Newly appointed Vice Chancellor of Manipur University, Professor A.P. Pandey takes charge. An SP Imphal West denies police misusing of diocese from Lagao gamblers. Welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangtum with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Governor Dr. Najma Habtullah today made an appeal to all concerned not to disturb education under any circumstances considering the profound importance of education in development of a nation. Speaking as the chief guest at the annual Freshest Meat Come Literally and Cultural Meet at of Tamfasana Girls Higher Secondary School, the governor expressed grave concern at the frequent occurrence of agitation, banned and blockade in Manipur, causing hindrance to education of the children. She urged the students to study and learn. She also said Manipur is known for its dance, culture, music and literature and urged the students to keep the tradition alive and make it more popular. The governor also mentioned that Manipur should have more women governors to get involved with the activities of women. Forest Minister Ahimo Chandra and MLA Olandoni also took part in the fresh event. There are so many issues which are facing the, especially the educational institution. Continuous agitations, bonds, blockades, they are causing a hindrance in the education of our students. Children. Many a student come and meet me with their grievances and complaints and I told them that your first job is to study, to learn and then whatever you want to do, you can do later on. But your first priority is to have education, knowledge, which is the most important thing in your life. We need you. You are our next generation. When we educate a girl, we educate the next generation. Congress MLA Dr. Aibo Halbi today stated that the government will soon take steps to drive out all the NSC and IM camps from the state. Speaking at the inauguration of Taubul Kadajit Primary School in Taubul Maninglaikai in Oinam in Bishnupur district, MLA Ibo Halbi strongly condemned the attack on the Chief Minister's entourage in Ukrul. He also asserted that the government will give a befitting reply. He alleged that the Naga People's Front, which is an ally of the BJP government in the center government, has an ASEAN IM in its support. He warned that if the BJP come to power in the state, Manipur will be disintegrated. Bishnupur DC M. Hare Krishna, ZEO Zone 4 Bishnupur, Taubul GP Pradhan and District Project Manager SSA were among those present at the event. <laughs> Bishnupur M. Hare Krishna said, schools are constructed in villages to provide education to children to bring about development in the villages. He appealed to parents to send their children to schools so that the efforts of the government are not wasted. Mm -hmm. 
MPCC Treasurer and Shugnu MLA K. Ranjit had expressed apprehension that the burning of houses of MLAs and MP in Churachanpur district were carried out in the name of anti-tribal bills by instigating anti-social elements in an effort to win election by aspiring candidates. K. Ranjit was speaking at the reception of 62 workers of BJP to MPCC today. Those who joined the Congress included executive member of BJP, Y. Mangi, UPA Adhakshya of Imphal East Zilla Parishad and VP Imphal East BJP P. Sundar. Ranjit said the death of nine persons in Churachanpur was unfortunate and the government made all possible efforts to perform their last rites. He said, though the local have expressed their willingness and given consent to conduct the last rites, one organization has vehemently opposed it. The MLA was confident that the Congress will emerge as the largest party in the 11th general election by about winning 39 seats. <laughs> Local Area Development Mayang Imphal Beneficiary Committee has clarified that Mayang Imphal MLA did not misuse the Local Area Development Fund. The committee today spoke to media at Ibudhaulai Awangba Soraden at Mayang Imphal contact to clarify the matter. Local Area Development Mayang Imphal Beneficiary Committee member and Mayang Imphal Block Congress Committee Media Cell Committee Chairman Thaudam Modu said Local Area Development Mayang Imphal Beneficiary Committee takes up the development works in the constituency according to the needs of the people under the supervision of the MLA. Lan Sinig Amtaliti. Zagaza got to Lady Bapazazin to Gi, Apamba Matungina, Makuki Suisang Yaruga, Committee Get Tanaraga, Akoi, Tabaxi, Loin Muktawi, Minister and Local Air Diplomat Pandegi, Lupa Masopolite, Lupa Masatokulite, Ado Kaima Local Air Diplomat Pandina, Project Karasum Pakala Matamiza, Kaima Awapa Paladi, Akoi, Minister Gi Poketagi, my own Poketagi Pesaji Putoga, Hariba Tabax and Loisanaba, Tobi. Thangmaiban Tribal Development Committee, Mahila Committee and Youths Committee in a meeting strongly condemned the attack on Chief Minister Okram Ibobi on October 24th in Ukrul. Leader of BJP Manipur Pradesh Legislature Wayne K. H. Joy Kishin termed the burning of effigy of Prime Minister Narendra Modi by volunteers of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee as barbaric. Emily Joy Kishin was speaking at the motorcycle rally organized by Bharatiya Janata Yuva Morcha Manipur Pradesh on safe youth root out drug smugglers today. Joy Kishin said BJP Manipur Pradesh condemned the attack on the Chief Minister in Ukrul. He maintained that the burning of effigy of the Prime Minister shows the true color of the Congress party. Joy Kishan said Prime Minister Narendra Modi is a leader who honestly serves the people. He said Congress leaders Sonia Gandhi and her son Rahul Gandhi have been accused of involving in scams. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee na akoi gi Prime Minister gi muti mai tha ba haibe simang na koi Congress ki moi khude mak se uncivilized oiba barbarian oiba mewe ngatan haibe se akoi kuna muna huji khangle Prime Minister na ngasi bobu gi manung da sai ani makai palak pada ma ki mathak ta krai ma bata thokte ma ki madruk ta akoi scandal ma ta thokte haibe se BJP Manipur Pradesh na haibe na te masi leba miam na haibe bobu khom ni ma ki mathak te scandal ma ta pothok bangam te akoi gi AICC president Sonia Gandhi, Mark Huzik Karida, Chenari, 
National Herald case the Maoji Jamin the Lady. The motor rally was flagged off by BJP Manipur Pradesh President KSH Bhavananda from Chao Yaima Higher Secondary School in Thaupal. The rally concluded at Thangmai Bantarung Kul in Imphal West. Executive members of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Youth Morcha President and several workers of the party participated in the rally. Manipuri Naharul me amsi drug talai chura ba akui ki Naharul me amam lei Naharul jingsi moi de drug ki kanosi de ki kanzi ay bedu ki madu ki team ni maru na akui ne chatha jari basi Manip akui BJ BJ YM ki leader akui samorji na luchinga ka MLA honourable MLA jo ki sena maru ena luchinga ka ngasi ki akui ki release chatha jabani adu ngasi chatha riba release ki matung matung dagi di akui Manipuri da akui drug free oibas society ma oiragini ay bagi asasi da. BJP leader Yungkam Irabo demanded the chief minister to keep his promise to reward those who could give proof of drug seize from Imphal International Airport. He also asked the Home Department to give reason why the Special Investigation Unit led by Inspector K. Ranjit was disbanded. Speaking at the motorcycle rally organized by Bharatiya Janta Yuva Morcha on a theme, Save Youth Root Out Drug Smugglers, Yungkam Irapot said the Chief Minister is sure to reward those who could give proof on a drug case when representatives of 15 different CSOs met him. He said a CBI has taken a case on the airport drug case and investigation is going on. <laughs> government civil organization whom he promised to give a word. Other talk with him, we must have a BJP workers today held protests in front of the party office at Nitya Pachutek against the burning of effigy of Prime Minister Narendra Modi yesterday by Congress workers. Congress workers yesterday burned the effigy of the Prime Minister, protesting the attack on CM's entourage in Ukrul. National Vice President of BJP Mahila Morcha Adhikari Mayum Sharda said the burning of MP PM's effigy by Congress workers was unfortunate. She said Home Minister Gakangam should take the responsibility of the Ukrul incident. Manipur ki CM na Ukrul dasat pahay basi lay riba state ki law and order ki matanga pahay riba law and order bunga iba adu kumbha Home Minister Sri Gakangam na maha ki matau ningthi na taugdre hai bagi chap chapa kudam mama panga ba pao bada Barat ke Prime Minister da thangjen nana ba Bharatiya Janata Party da thangjen nana ba hona ba hai basa Bharatiya Janata Party mahila morcha na chukya yaning de masagi state ki hoy ba law and order ngak pangam draba Manipur ke CM da thoi hi ba thok thok asi da sexual thorang lau khat pangam draba Sri Gai Kangam Home Minister masana khang na masana pam thadok pam thoi um, Army Party AAP has requested the journalists and academicians to contest the assembly polls on up ticket. Kaishamthong MLA Lai Shombi Bomcha has maintained that there will be no election but selection in Ukrul district. Speaking to media at his Kaishamthong residence today, he asked whether Ukrul has been dominated by enemies armed groups. He was apprehensive that there will be no fair, free and fair elections in the district. Taking part in the press meet, State General Secretary of NCP Soram Iboyaima said Manipur can be described as a land of illiterate after witnessing the nature of administration. Ibomcha further said, Edgar Kangam's statement on the attack of the CM is equivalent to waging war against the government. He said if the government filed an FIR against the Mao incident, the issue can be closed. He also compared the Ukrul attack as an attack on Manipur's integrity and state government of India and Manipur should act on the matter. He also said the state government, after holding a cabinet meeting, should press the center to declare UNC and NSC and IM as unlawful organization. He also said DR Zeliang should be held responsible for the incident. Okul district is in the election. UNC IM, UNC TLA and Simona would keep the Torga. Election mode, ma koi na pa mo ang da candidate selection to kibiya election mode. Madu oragadi 
ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಕರಂಬ ಪಾರ್ಟಿನ ಸೆಮಂಗದ್ರು ಹಾಯ್ಬೋದು ಯು ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಐ ಎಂ ಅಮತಿ ನಾಗಾಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ಗೆ ಅಪಾಮದ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಸೆಮಂಕ್ಷಿಬ ಯಾವು ವಾಪಸಿ ಭಾರತ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಮಣಿಪುರ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಅಮದಿ ಮಣಿಪುರ ಲೈರಿಬ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಪುನಮ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಖೇಣ ಥಮ್ದನ ಲೈಬಾಗಿದ್ದ ಕುಪ್ನ ಖನಪಂ ಥೋ ಏನ ಏನು ಕಂಜೆ In a shocking incident, a student from Manipur who had not been seen for three days at Delhi's prestigious Jawaharlal Nehru University, JNU, was found dead in his room in Brahmaputra Hostel on Tuesday evening. 31-year-old Jatung Philemon Raja, a research student from Senapati, Manipur, was laying on the floor when some students broke into his room. The student suspected something wrong and called security guards when they sensed a fall order from the room. A student said his room had been locked for two days. His phone kept ringing and no one answered. Raja, who studied international relations, had written a chapter in the book Persian Gulf 2014, India's relation with the region, edited by JNU professor P.R. Kumaraswamy. A senior police officer said the deceased was pursuing his PhD on the subject of West Asia and had not been seen for the last three days. Meanwhile, with no trace of missing JNU student Nazib Ahmad for over 10 days, the Delhi police had on Monday announced an increase in the reward for any information leading to him from Rs 50,000 to 1 lakh. Even as agitating students knocked at the doors of Lieutenant Governor Najib Jung over the issue. JNU has witnessed huge protests since October 15 over the mystery disappearance of another student, Najib Ahmad. Najib went missing after a fight with student activists at his hostel. He was allegedly beaten up severely the night before he vanished. Let's take a small commercial break. We'll be back in a short while. Keep watching Impact News. I am a ปิงบางาตุนปิงบางาตุนพังบีรกะนี่นิงอลจักโคบกีมางวยเนนะมะปุงมะรีฟาระบะปิงบาอะมะดีงาตุนนิงอลจักโคบกีดะมะดิสก
for new projects, seminars, paper publications and other academic activities. Manipur University Teachers Association Muta warmly welcomed the new VC. It may be mentioned that Professor Adhya Prasad Pandey, who is the head Department of Economics, Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi, was appointed Vice Chancellor of MU by the President of India yesterday. Manipur Pradesh Trinamul Congress President Kim Gangte categorically stated that suspension of some police personnel in the wake of NSD and IM attack on the Chief Minister's entourage at Ukro will not solve the problem. Speaking to media at the party's Hauke Wang office today, she said all political parties in the state should condemn the incident. She said if the incident if is analyzed, it clearly reflects the lack of no law and order in the hill. She demanded resignation of Home Minister on moral grounds instead of suspending some police personnel. She expressed apprehension about the faith of common people as Chief Minister and his cabinet colleagues have been attacked. She questioned the central government's silence on the matter till now. She also stressed the need for holding all political party meeting to press the centre, even if war of words intensified as election draws nearer. Stable Singh S. I. Singh suspended over Gimahuta, Home Minister himself must resign. Administration, governance, Amatta Suching the late Rehai Vasi Masina Utli, Chief Minister Asi Jingda Magi Masapao, Hangdaba Ayambane. Aduna Utpadi attachment supply late Re people ga Ning Tau Singh Napan Mamatamda Ning Tau Adu Jingnung the Chatli Ekoitai. Ngasi di jing da CM la e hai bisi ita ta de. Home Minister la e hai bisi ita ta de. Jing da su khara toi na chat pi ba oi rabadi attachment nung si na badu hen na la kane. Members of Iram themselves have grouped today stormed the BJP office at Nitya Pachutek demanding action against Salam Toy, who deceived the self help group members. This afternoon, around 2.30, several women members of the group attempted to meet the president. However, security personnel stopped them. The women demanded action against former Wangoy MLA S. Joy. They alleged that Salam Toy has misappropriated money in the name of Oinam Sawombung Iram them self help group. It may be mentioned that president and treasurer of the group have been summoned by CBI in the case. Asi lakshya is din na mana tauri ba po sa karino hai ba thidok piu adu ko akon ba ekshal lokhat piu akoi di loan je lau de akoi da singo hai na mana lai je madam suja cha de akoi loan lau de hai ba sini hai je ningi je BJP ki opista anta thigat piu akon ba ekshal lau piu na hai ba lai ba. Asi BJP ki opista akoi na hauji mani po ya awam ba. Satu mama pora ini bani BJP kongres muthal lagi BJP da, boh pira jahai bah ihok jilai laga BJP ki mili, tike tanah ni bah si seram joi da, tike pibi dana bah hai dana mah BJP ki mili oi bah dematik cah dia hai dana aina masih pontuk cari. The final hearing of electoral rules summary revision of Thaubal district began today at the counting hall of Thaubal district. Thaubal and Hairog were held today while hearing of Wang Jing will be held tomorrow. Hearing of Wang Kim and Kangabog will be held on October 28 and 29 respectively. Hearing of constituencies under SWD Olilong and SDO Kakching have already begun. SP Imphal West District Police and Herojit has maintained that there is no question of police misusing the seized dice. He said they will be disposed at the proper place. Speaking to media at Imphal West headquarters, he said district police have been conducting special drive against gambling in Imphal West District in connection with upcoming Diwali and Ningol Chakowa for the last two weeks. He said the drive will continue till the festival is over. So far, 220 sets of dice and 39 pieces have been deceased. It may be recalled that District Police Imphal West also seized 310 dice sets last year. In view of the Diwali and Ningol Takauba festival, a new traffic regulation will be introduced in Kwairamban Kaitel from October 29 to November 1st. The SP said adequate security measures will also be taken to prevent untoward incidents in market areas. He also appealed to people to inform the police if they see any suspicious objects and vehicles. Akui na tauzir ibu security arrangement sih ki matak ta public tak isu akui na support kara tum paham zai. Kari kumba unattended oi ba kari kumba singna ba port zai bag vehicle leh raga di akui 
district police ta matam sana pau pibiu yam na thuna attend tok jagani anybody can contact sp imphal west additional sp ops additional sp law and order sdpo imphal all ocs mayam gi seva gi damak ta leibani mayam na pirakpa cooperation ga loina na akoi imphal city crime thok ta ba problem nei ta ba ma ohnc one day awareness program on activities of statistics department was held at Kairau Bitra in Imphal East today. The awareness program was organized by District Statistical Office Imphal East at Kairau Bitra Community Hall. Speaking at the event, Sub Inspector of District Statistical Office Imphal East Mutum Sanayaima said the economy of a nation is determined after collection of data or report of all the developmental activities in the country. The collection of report and data have been been done by the statistical department. The program was held to raise public awareness about the activities of the department. The first convocation come graduation day of CMC Nursing College was held today at CMC Auditorium, Koiringai. In his speech as Chief Guest, Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khangam stressed the importance of nursing institutes in the state. Meritorious students and passed out students of the college were presented with certificates and gifts on the occasion. Press Information Bureau for the first time organized one-day rural media workshop under the aegis of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting Manipur Press Club today. PIB Media and Communication Officer Loitambam Premlata said the workshop was held under the instruction of the ministry in all the states of India. She said the workshop aims at providing information to the people through media about the various flagship programs being launched in the distant and interior villages of the country by government of india skim mayam flagship program skim mayam ji akhoi media singda moisi mamata na khanga na ba akhoi ki central government china daka oire haibachi khangba da gi akhoi state state sida machi tawro haidana silak pani aduga manipur da di machi ahan bo oina sin bani akhoi media sing sina akhoi ki flagship program sing ji Pajana Mamata na kang draga di program magi makoi na hing report pira pamatanda. Ayam pajana Mamata na koi ki paper da irak pa ngamoi do ba malai ba hai ba tarita sing na hai draga di. Adu tu na kerap pajana koi itu picture kangal kangal laga digest da hona ba dung macin ba program di rutin media wak sebahari si. Aspiring BJP candidate for the 11th Assembly polls from Uripok, Laurempam Lotika today kicked off her election campaign by holding a car rally and poster campaign in Uripok constituency. The rally took off from the house of the aspiring candidate and covered several areas of the constituency. During the rally, Lotika also saw the deplorable condition of roads in Langol area. A Lotika said she decided to contest the election to help the underprivileged people and provide jobs to the unemployed. To the BJP ticket asi ayak thazabani ai phangbasu oigani na thazai leader sing na nupi da ticket pigani akhoi nupi sing tangai phadana akhoi nupi khara da orsu Manipur gi handak lai ba election asi da akhoi fight to hongani yamdraba da party gi oina 33% ticket pigani hai basu leibana ai masi gi asha si da ai thokchara pani Joint Student Union of Turachanpur District, namely Zomi Student Federation, Kuki Student Organization, Turachanpur, Mizo Zilai Paul, and Mar Student Organization organized a rally in support of all tribal students' union Manipur Atsum's demand for implementation of CEI Reservation in Admission Amendment 2012. A protest march was taken out in Ukrul today under the aegis of Atsum against reservation norms adopted by Academic Council of MU. The rally which took off from two points of 
TNL ground converge in front of mini secretariat gate. Various placards denouncing the decision of the university were also used in the protest rally. Speaking to the media at some general secretary, Varayo Satsang said, until the rights of the tribal students are given, they will continue agitations. <laughs> Now, from the office of the Atsum, we are going to fight till the end until justice is delivered to us. The Tribal Students Union, inclusive of all the Apex organizations based in the hill, will not rest until and unless the issue of reservation is solved. ICR Lumfield Pod will be organizing a field day come fish fair at Kabi Bantiar on October 31st under the fish production and short duration fish farming program. Manipur State Legal Services Authority will organize two-day mass door-to-door -door campaign on November 2nd and 3rd November in all districts of the state to reach out to the people to make them aware about their rights, entitlement under various laws and schemes of the government, availability of legal services, etc., involving the police departments and other functionaries. Now the sports news. The 21st Thangjam Birachandra and Maipakpi Memorial Winners' Cup kicked off today at Kuman Lampak Artificial Turf Ground in home and away basis. And the first match played today at the home ground of Rising Athletic Union Ladik Yeng Bamlaikai, which is a team of Imphal East District Football Association beat Youth Social Welfare Association Utla, which is a team of District Sports Association Bishnupur 2-1. Mayon Kapping and A. Kishin nated the winning goals for Rising Athletic Union Ladigiang Bamlaikai in the 55th and 57th minute of the match. Youth Social Welfare Association Utla will meet Rising Athletic Union Ladigiang Bamlaikai at Sai Takil, which is the home ground for Youth Social Welfare Association Utla on the 28th of this month. The tournament is organized by All Manipur Football Association. The 31st Junior State Level Archery Championship kicked off today at Kuman Lampak Sports Complex. In the opening day, Sika Unit Archer, CH Debia, BCAC Unit Archer, W Maleshwari and YAC Unit Archer, L Tomtin Nganbi won the first, second and third position in the Junior Girls Individual Indian Round. 52 boy archers and 21 girl archers are competing in the Indian Round Individual and Team Event. Indian Round Elimination and Team Event will be held tomorrow. Before we end the bulletin, a quick look at the headlines once again. Governor Najma Habtula appeals to all not to disturb education in Manipur. MLA Dr. Ibo Halbi says government will drive out all NSC and IM camps from Manipur. BJP Manipur condemns burning of Prime Minister's effigy by Congress workers. Newly appointed Vice Chancellor of Manipur University, Professor A.P. Pandit takes charge. An SP Imphal West denies police misusing of diocese from Lagao gamblers. <laughs>